WRHU, Radio Hofstra University. For 88.7 FM WRHU, I'm Max Sacco as we continue our Alumni of the Week series this week with spring graduate Matt Napolitano. Matt, thank you very much for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me, Max. So first question, kind of the nice basic question to start us off here. How did you, what's been your journey with, you know, coming to Hofstra and then also just going into the professional field as well. So a bit of what you did at Hofstra and then how you transferred into the professional field. Well, coming to Hofstra, I grew up on Long Island. So field trips, anytime you went to a Jets training camp or anything, it was over at Hofstra. And it became aware to me that it was actually one of the big communication schools as I was starting to look into that. While I was in high school, I was doing the school newspaper. I was also the PA for football games. And I wanted to really move forward with that. And WRHU provided me with the best opportunity where I could just come in the door right away right from when I was a freshman and have a chance to be on air within my first year of college, whereas other universities, it would have taken me until my junior or senior year, uh, really prepared me for what was to come. I mean, you're working in New York, you're working in market one, you're surrounded by incredible professionals at all times, incredible alumni. And it built me up with a great resume where I was able to get internships at Q104 and at Z100, and then go on to work for a radio news station right out of college. In fact, I was a producer for them at uh, just 21 years old on um, unfortunately that station went defunct about a month after I graduated <laughs> but um, it kept me in the field for a while I ended up going on to work for TMZ and then eventually on to uh, Fox Sports Radio after a brief stint in the uh, Fox News Radio rather after a brief stint in the uh, corporate world and it definitely has like gotten me a lot of success and it's definitely put me on a right path where I feel like you know, just from what I learned within those four walls has really carried over into everything I've accomplished so far and through the connections that I've made that I've been able to establish myself pretty well. Now, you kind of mentioned a little bit, and I think you gave a couple reasons well, but could you go into a bit more about why you chose Hofstra as a whole? So, you know, why did you pick your college decision? And then also what made you go to WRHU as well and really dive into there too? Well, for me, I wanted to kind of look local, uh, being on Long Island, but I also was just looking at different uh, communications programs throughout the Northeast. And the one thing I really noticed with Hofstra was that it was very much more hands-on immediately uh, compared to the other programs. You know, a lot of the other programs wanted you to study up for the first two years, and then maybe, just maybe, you'll get your shot when you're a junior, when you're a senior. I uh, got the chance to meet with John Mullen, uh, actually to interview for the radio station. I think I was, it was actually my first day on campus. And just in discussing the program and discussing what you can actually do right out the gate if you get into the training class, I was like, you know what, this is a great place to start. And it ended up being the perfect place to be for almost the entirety of my time at Hofstra and set me up for some great success down the line. And now I think the question, it's always interesting to hear what people have to say about this is what did you learn from WRHU? What professional skills did WRHU teach you that you transferred over after college? That the mic is always on. I'll say that <laughs> no, it's, uh, I will say the great part about being surrounded by people like Bruce Avery, John Mullen, the late Ed Ingalls, um, was that you really felt respected as an employee as opposed to being a student. And what I mean by that is you were treated like you were going to work at a New York radio station every day. You were expected to put out a quality product whether it was through Newsline, through the locker room, whatever program you were doing, even if it was, you know, the country radio show they had me doing at one point in the middle of the night <laughs> over there, uh, you were required to bring a, a, a level of professionalism and to show a level of talent that kept you in the spotlight, that kept you, uh, kept an eye on you, that really put a, the right amount of pressure on you, that made you want to excel further, that made you want to go that extra mile. And I always carry with me one of the things that um, I, I learned early on, and that is that with all the people that you meet, so many familiar faces are gonna come by. You're gonna see alumni, you're gonna see people that you may have just had a brief interaction with, but you know what? You want to remember those contacts because you never know who you're going to run into, especially in a New York market. It is so familial that there's so many people that you're going to bump into, see every now and then, and they're gonna ask you questions going back to when you were at Hofstra, having those conversations. And it really actually paves the way for you because it gives you that ability to have those conversations and be able to get yourself cemented and a little bit more respect. They know they, there's something that comes with WRHU next to your resume, with Hofstra University next to your resume. And it really has gotten to a point now where it is 
almost like you spot that on someone's profile and it's like, okay, I think we got somebody here who could really make a difference for our radio station. I know that that was the case for me. I walked into a place now at Fox News Radio where there's, I think, right now currently seven Hofstra alumni working within just the radio newsroom. I mean, who knows throughout Fox News as a whole, there's probably even more. I can tell you another three that I've operated with on the TV side of things. It shows where this program's coming from and how far the communication school has come that it really is, it's remarkable. No, yeah, the Hofstra Network is really big and, you know, it's just something that continues to grow and like we see it today. I mean, the alumni network's huge just yeah. here alone on our emailing list to reach out to you guys. So definitely a lot to reach out to. But Matt, the big final question here is that yeah. WRHU gets a lot of new people every year. You know this, through all their training classes and new yeah. kids coming in. So what is the best piece of advice you have to offer to this next generation of WRHU talents as they come into the radio station? Just remember that Bruce likes to sleep nights. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about this. Honestly, coming into it, the best piece of advice I could say is just enjoy it and soak in the moments. Take it all in because this is a very unique opportunity that you're not really going to get at a lot of other universities. You're going to meet some friends that you're going to have for life. You're going to meet people that you're going to be working with on projects for years to come. You're going to meet some of the most famous people to walk through those halls. You're going to meet some incredible alumni, get to interview some amazing people. There's so many opportunities that are going to be right at your feet. Make the most of it, but of course, just enjoy it. Soak it all in. I think that's what everyone's trying to do, and I think that's a perfect way to end. Matt Napolitano, everyone. Matt, thank you very much for joining us today on the Alumni of the Week. No problem, Max. Thanks.